up guys it's your girl jewel here with my healthy lifestyle change how are y'all so if y'all don't follow me on all of my social medias i don't know what y'all doing like i don't know what y'all doing because you got youtube jewel you got ig jewel and you got tiktok jewel like those jewels sometimes they blend okay and sometimes they are just totally separate people, okay? So, first things first, go follow me on all my socials. And I say that to say, I know you guys saw my last video about me paying grandma off. Y'all know we've been fighting to pay grandma off for the longest. Y'all know I've been talking about grandma since last year. Like, man, I just want to pay grandma off i want to pay grandma off i want to pay grandma off and we finally we finally paid grandma off y'all Woo! we're gonna clap it up for grandma shout out to grandma for loaning me the money so i can renovate my first rental property shout out to grandma okay and shout out to the fact that I was able to pay it off, y'all. It may not have happened when I wanted to, but it happened right on time. So I'm just so happy and I'm so blessed to have a grandmother to just be willing to help me out when it comes to that. So <clears throat> shout out to grandma and we have finished paying grandma off. I'm so happy. I'm so excited about it. Like, woo! Okay, so I paid grandma off. Now what's next? You guys know that I have been following the debt-free journey um, according to Dave Ramsey. Uh, Total Money Makeover is the name of his book. If you do not have it and you're interested in it, please go get it. Um, and that is something that I have been following. I am not a financial advisor. Let me put that out there. I do not have any schooling on financial knowledge. This is just things that I do that make my life better or that I believe make my life better. <laughs> um, so yes, I have been paying off my debt since January 27th, 2022. I have paid off over $82,000 worth of debt and I'm still counting. So I have left my grad school loan and my undergraduate loan i have those two things left now i do have some other things some other debts that i have however they aren't big debts so i'm not going to include them on a debt-free journey but what is next is my student loans okay what's next is my student loans and la 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 la. So if you've been following me from the beginning, you know I have a little over forty-four thousand dollars in student loans, and my goal is to really have that paid off by this year, like by the end of this year of twenty twenty-three, by December thirty-first, twenty twenty-three, I will have my student loans paid off. So that is my goal to have those student loans paid off. What is my plan? Okay, so really, I was just hoping that I could win like a million dollars playing lottery. <laughs> I ain't lying, y'all. No, um, I'm not lying about that. Like, if, if, if the Lord want to bless me with winning the lottery, sure, why not? Um, Because I'm paying it straight to my loans, okay? I don't, I don't want none of it. I don't want none of it, okay? I want to pay it to my loans, okay? Um, But seriously, in all seriousness... Um, for the past 10 months, I have worked a second job. And that second job has worked me and worked me and worked me and worked me. And it worked me to the core, y'all. And I just was so tired of working that job. And I was getting so agitated with the job. And it was working me harder than my main job. I was just like, I have to quit. And so about a week ago, I, uh, well, I resigned about a month ago. And I gave them a month notice and um i think about a week ago was my last day i'm so excited about that like come on son um but that income is now gone it's finito it's no more so i'm back down to one income so i really have been working on coming up with strategies to get out of this debt not just using one income because 
when have you ever known me to only have one stream of income like get real <laughs> i i and i kept telling myself jewel you can't go out and get another job like because my mindset is hustle 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 but i have to really flip that mindset and find me some passive income that's gonna actually make me some money so my goals are to literally find what is going to be my passive income the first thing that i know for sure that i want to monetize is all of my social media accounts so i'm working on monetizing my amazon account right now and i'm working on the other socials that i have as well if you're not following me on amazon what are you doing my amazon store go check my amazon store out because it is popping okay it is fly for real um and i do have some cool things on there if you guys are interested so that's one strategy that that's one angle that i'm working and you know sometimes that can be a hit or a miss and you really got to double down and focus on that so that is one thing that i am focusing on the second thing of course is my djing i needed to start paying me money like okay all these free gigs they cute but no i really got to start focusing on my djing so that i can start getting paid gigs so i've already started monetizing that i have a paid gig coming up i'm super excited about it <laughs> Um, but that's, I don't think that that's going to be the big money just yet. Like that's going to take time to build and that's okay. So I don't even want that to be considered an income just yet because I'm getting my feet wet with DJing. Um, so really social media is something that is going to be a big, I feel like a big, big major thing when it comes to some passive income. And it's not taking the passive because I put it in the work, but it doesn't feel like work to me because obviously I enjoy rambling. <laughs> I enjoy doing this right here. Um, so it doesn't feel like work and it doesn't take up so much of my time to where I can't do my job and this. So that is going to be one of my main focuses. And the second, and well, and I guess in the third thing would be Airbnb. You guys know that I love real estate. You know that I had my rental property and I had to sell it. If you have been following me on my journey, you saw that video. If not, go check that video out where I sold my rental property. It broke my heart so bad, but I was on my debt-free journey and that was something that I needed to do. Um, but I'm going to get back into real estate and I want to get in Airbnb and I've tested it out. I've done it before. It's super easy and it's actually a great passive income if you already have the space to do it so i want to get back into real estate and start airbnb and i want that to be a third passive income of mine so that is my strategy those are my strategies that i'm going to be working on and trying to get off the ground for the next few months and prayerfully with you know a lot of hard work dedication and discipline i actually make some money and can pay off my debt by the end of this year. So that is the goal on how I'm going to get to paying off my debt by the end of this year. Um, what actually is next as far as the debt snowball? Listen, okay, I, I explained to you guys how the Dave Ramsey Total Money Makeover Program actually works. And you know, you what you have to do with your savings account and then how you disperse your money when you're doing the debt snowball i've decided that i am not completely doing away with that because the only debt that i do have left is my student loans it's only one debt so i'm not i don't have to uh disperse my money amongst anything else <laughs> besides my student loans um i'm going to continue that debt snowball payment so i'm going to take the payment that i was paying grandma and the payments that well, there is no payments for student loans right now, but plus the payment for what my student loans would be if I was paying it, combine them, and I'm gonna pay that per month. Now, you take all of your additional money and you pay it towards your debt as well. And I usually have additional money after I'm done paying everything, including the debt payment in each check. I always have leftover money and then I take that leftover money and I typically will put it towards the debt. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that with these student loans. No, I'm not doing that. So what I am going to do, I'm going to take all of that additional money after I'm done paying bills, after I'm done making my debt payment 
for the month. I'm going to take the additional money and I'm going to start building my savings again. Therefore, I cannot be putting all my money to these student loans. And I, will, I do, I really want my student loans to be paid off and I'm going to work so hard to pay them off. Do not get me wrong. However, I will not be putting every single dime outside of the debt payment because we're still going to pay it. But I will not take all of my leftover money and put it towards the loans, how I've been doing in the past on my journey. I'm going to take that money and I'm going to divvy it up for my emergency fund, travel fund. And I may go in and open back up my uh, investment fund. So that's it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pay off my student loans by December 31st, 2023. Mark my words. I said it today. <laughs> I'm going to do that by using, of course, my main income plus three passive incomes, one of which is not really a, a passive income just yet. However, you never know what might happen. But three passive incomes being DJing, content creation, and Airbnb. Airbnb. I'm pretty sure that's the word. But we're going to just say real estate because you never know. I might go and get a rental property or something. I don't know, but that's a slow process. So I might not. Um, so using those three strategies that I know, <laughs> that is what I'm going to do. I may find some other passive incomes along the way. Who knows? Um, but using passive income is how I'm going to pay my debt off by the end of this year. Plus of course my income. And the goal is to Use the debt snowball method, continue with the old payment to grandma plus a new payment to the student loans, combine that and pay that per month and then take all of my extra money that I was paying to the debt and actually save it and put it in my emergency fund, travel fund and investment fund. So that is my goal, guys. Um, We're going to see how it works. We're going to see... You know, I'm going to do a check-in with myself in about maybe three months just to see if the strategy is actually working. Maybe I need to go back to the debt snowball method and continue on doing it how he said do it instead of trying to build up an emergency fund, travel fund, and um, investment fund. But the thing is, I'm going to travel this year and I don't want to go back into debt to try to travel. So if I have the extra funds, just put it away into my travel fund so there's no surprises when it's time to travel because your girl getting out the country this year. Okay? Your girl is getting out the country. I got to leave the U.S. this year. So um, that is the goal. We're going to see how it works. I'm going to check in with myself in a few months to see an update. But comment underneath this video if you are on your debt-free journey and what strategies you are using because this is not the only way. And I would love to learn other tips and strategies to paying off my debt, especially more passive income. If you have some ideas on paying off debt and creating passive income, send it your girl away. Shoot me a message on all my socials. DM me, comment down below this video and let me know, please. Because these loans are getting paid by the end of this year, period. Poop. Um, so comment down below if you have any strategies for that. Please don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't already subscribed to your girl channel, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. I'm talking.